Hi everyone. So right now I'm being filmed with the Fuji X-T3 and the uh, iPhone 8. Uh, the iPhone 8 is going to track my face, hopefully, um, or where the tracking is happening on the X-T3. And I'm also going to look up and down because right now I'm looking at the small HD. Let me give you the uh, exposure values for the X-T3. Right now it's at H.264, all I, 23.98, at 1080, 1 48th of a second, 1.4, F1.4, ISO 4, 100, it's on face detection. And this is firmware 2.1. So, you know, moving back and forth like this, I have seen some, you know, bit of a lag. Sure, takes a little while for it to um, follow me, and I'll do that again, but believe me, you can't do this in terms of it focusing on me with the X-H1. Try it. One of the things about the Fuji camera until the X-T3 is that none of them um, had an ability to uh, focus after it detected your face. It kind of did, and on rare occasions it would, but most of the time it wouldn't. And you can watch a lot of my videos on focusing, especially on the X100F, uh, even the X-T2. It um, continuous autofocusing is a big challenge, but not with this camera. A lot of people love this camera because it uh, does a good job and you know what I've I've never had too much to complain about it and you can see there a little bit that it goes off focus a bit and I know that if you go too far away eventually it doesn't track your face but here I'm about a meter away It's doing a decent job. I mean, can't go any farther. But it's tracking me. It's doing a good job. <clears throat> Not too bad. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put eye detection, but of course. I'm going to have to have um, no glasses, probably. All right, let's try the eye detect. Okay, so now we are with the right eye. And as you can see through the iPhone 8, it is this eye, which is my right eye. And it'll be on the left on the screen. And, I don't know, if I'm focused like this, yes, it's focusing on that. And if I move my head fast, it's still, you know, kind of focusing. I mean, it's not going to be very fast, but fast enough. And we're going to try it with the firmware 3.0, of course. What about with glasses? Let's see. Does it recognize me with glasses? Haha. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Kind of. It's trying to. Sort of. Right there, it's not. Look at that. Look at that. I guess it... it it goes into a default mode where if you can't find the eye can you find the face uh, let's see take this off that's not too bad this form firmware update is not bad the 2.1 I haven't had real issues with it sure it's a little laggy 
um, but it does the job pretty well. Okay, so we're going to try firmware 3.0 and uh, we'll see if the, um, I notice any difference. Okay, now we are in version 3.1. I mean, is it faster? Could be. Not as laggy. Sure. Um, oh, that's another thing too. Let's see. I haven't, um, I don't remember what this lens is. Oh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's right. So, <laughs> This is the uh, 16 millimeter lens. Oh, 16 millimeters seem to be, I mean, it's one of the nicest uh, lenses. Definitely, for me, nicer than the 23. Gives you a little more wide, wider angle. Uh, anyway, let's look at um, iPhone 8 again. Uh, look at that mist there. Hmm. That was interesting. It's not perfect. This could be because I have my glasses on too. And there's a reflection. Ah, look at that. Way faster. Definitely. Look at that. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can see a difference. Interesting. Let's try that again. I'm going to put my glasses on. A little bit of a lag. And without them. Not too bad. Still not too bad. Then again, 2.1 wasn't a very bad firmware at all. All right, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try um, the right eye. Let's find out how it looks. We are now filming with the right eye, and I have my glasses on. And it looks like it's doing the same thing again. Glasses, especially if they're shiny. It will definitely, uh, but it's it's still close to the right eye, isn't it? Look at that. Mm, not bad. It's tracking. Thing is, when I, once again, tracking has never been an issue. Focus has been. Of course, focus on the side like this, and then moving back. That's not bad, is it? Not bad at all. Hmm. Um, I don't have another face. Uh, I know there are other functions, but I think I think ultimately it solidifies um, Fuji now with its uh, new body, the XT3 that it's very competitive now in terms of autofocusing.